What a dodo, it's your favorite log, Mr. Ortiz, back like I never left, raised by OGs, not IG. But anyways, I want to tell this funny, judgmental, disrespectful fight. So anyways, it was 2007, you know what I'm saying, I've been out like, seven months, you know what I'm saying, Facebook jumping and all that, I'm getting my bitches up, all that, feel me, so, um, we was in West Covina, you know what I'm saying, in these apartments off of Amar and Temple, so, uh, I'm over there kicking it with one of the Logsters, one of my key ways, you know what I'm saying, and um, cuz neighbor always talking shit. You know, cuz was an essay. I'm not gonna say what hood he was from because I'm not gonna give him no shine, you know. But, anyways, um, so the situation went like this cuz always talking shit to the homie. Cuz was an older veteran, he was probably like 40, you know, it's 07, so cuz was like about 42, 43, or something like that. So every time I cut, cause he, and he lived in like upstairs, but he lived on this side of the apartment. Cause like a, when you come in, it's like a four unit, you know, two downstairs, two upstairs, whatever. So, cause he's always talk shit to the homie, like major shit. But then I found out why that cut be talking shit because, see, the homie had him a little snow bunny, you feel me? But cause snow bunny was a little freak. So, you know, she was with the whole threesomes and all that. So cause used to have, Little bitches come through, but the little bitches case that had come through was the little Mexican bitches. You feel me? Cause I had like three little Mexican bitches you were fucking with. And true facts, my loke could knock all four of them down. His bitch plus the three Mexican bitches at the same time. Cause I had videos and all that. I used to be like, cause I don't want to see your videos, cause you feel me? But this is my nigga though. But cousin was on that type of shit way before OnlyFans and all that shit. Cause was on that. So that's the reason why the old veteran used to be mad, cuz, cuz, instead of just saying, like, damn, homie, you got bitches, you know what I'm saying? And be like, fuck, what's up, man? You know, hey, man, I, I, hey, man, I want to dip on my wife, come down there and hang with you. But instead of doing that, cuz just want to keep hating on the homie, cuz, cuz I know what it is, cuz, cuz, black, and cuz got these bitches, and, and I'm gonna keep it 100. All four of them bitches cut had, cut had the bad little white bitch, and he had three little bad little Mexican bitches. I'm just hands down, cuz, I give cuz that. Them bitches wasn't no just whatever looking bitches. Like, Cuz has some nice little bitches. Like I said, if it was OnlyFans, Cuz be making that Luther little fake. I'm not bullshitting. Cuz be getting that bread. That's a true fact, Cuz. Cuz be getting that money, Cuz. But anyways, so one day, Cuz, like I said, I always go fuck with Cuz. So I'm over there fucking with Cuz one day. So Cuz come down there. He got his shirt off. You know, he got that, uh, like my nigga Masha say, that uh, uncomfortable meat body. He built like Johnny Bravo. You know, you know how y'all essays is, cuz y'all niggas gonna be having no shapes, cuz y'all be working out for months. My nigga still be looking the, the same, cuz like, I don't give a fuck how much protein you do, cuz. And I'm talking about majority, cuz, like, cuz you not about to get the, not about to get it, cuz. So, my nigga, cuz, like, the joke. So, cuz, take his shirt off, cuz, like, cuz came out downstairs, cuz, like a real. Cholo, cuz, with his shirt off, cuz, holding his shit up, whatever, whatever. So my nigga know that cuz, I think cuz always do this. So the homie take his shirt off, cuz, and just bust down. Cuz the homie got side, cuz, got that that African slash Zulu slash Bruce Lee type body nigga. You feel me? So cuz take his shirt off and just bust down, cuz, and did a hundred push-up. Cuz looking at him, and he was like, oh, what the fuck do that mean? Like, cuz was mad. Like, he's like, what the fuck do that mean? He said it mean what it what it is, nigga. Like shit, can you do a hundred push up? So that's how I started the push up shit. Oh, I can do push ups, burpees, and all that. He said, "Well, shit." He was like, "Shit, let bet." If I can do a hundred uh, burpees straight, can you? Oh man, there's nothing. I've been doing this shit. I did uh, what he said. I did like 10, 11 years in the in the joint and blah blah blah. He's like, "All right, my nigga, I don't care about none of that." Nigga, like I said, can you do a hundred burpees straight? Like, let's go. Let's bet. He said, he's like, what you want to bet? He said, what, what you want to bet? He said, oh, it's whatever. He said, all right, let's bet a hundred dollars. Oh, no, you talking crazy. 
He's like, what? So that means I want to bet. He said, I don't want to bet no $10, 20 No, we could bet 100 or better. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, man, I ain't about to fucking uh, bet with you. So he walked off. You know what I'm saying? Cub walked off. And by the time he get halfway through the parking lot, he throw his shirt on because he walked to the store. You know, go get him a beer. You know, people go get their liquid courage or whatever. So Cub walked down there, Cub, and went and got him a beer or two. You know what I'm saying? So when he come back from the store, he already drinking the beer because already. So Cub go in the house, he comes back downstairs, sit on the porch, he just drinking his beer, Cub, and me and the homie talking, so the homie's like, Cub, oh yeah, let me show you something real quick, so we go in the house, and uh, Cub is outside talking to another, a lady, a Mexican lady, right, he just talking, blah, 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 so when he heard the little movements, like our little movements in the house, he switched from English to Spanish, real quick. Then, but he was talking about it. Don't knowing that nigga, I know Spanish just like the homie know Spanish. And cuz is talking about us. Cuz calling us all type of mayates and uh, uh, basically we do too much. Black people loud. All this crazy shit, right? So the homie come out. He said respectfully, man, why you always got a problem with me, bro? I don't never say nothing to you. Oh, woo -woo -woo. And he was like, he just jumped up like, oh, I'm from. He just, I ain't gonna say his hood, homie. He jumped up. He said his hood and all that. And the homie's like, I don't give a fuck about none of that, nigga. This wooty woo crip, nigga. Like, I don't give a fuck about none of that. I'm just asking you a question. Like, bro, what's your problem with me, bro? You been having a problem with me, homie, for the past four months. Like, what is it? Oh, homie, you be loud playing your music. And I said, bro, I don't say nothing, nigga, when you, your girl, and all the other motherfuckers playing their music and having they, your friends be coming over here loud as fuck, taking over all of the whole little section and shit. I don't say nothing, fool. What is it? Like, damn, bro, you got a problem with me? You, what, you racist or something? Oh, homie, what I need to be racist for? You know, your people's ain't nothing to me. Like, that's how it all started. I'm like, I talked to him. I'm like, hey, cuz, stop talking to cuz. You know, raised by OGs, not IGs. Cuz, just stop talking to cuz, my nigga. You feel me? Just stop talking to cuz, man. Like, whatever, cuz. You know, like I said, homie, we grew up, we respect our elders. You feel me? So I like, cuz, you know, stop talking to cuz. And that nigga just get right on me, cuz. Like, hey, homie, you don't fucking live over here. Who the fuck is you? And da 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 da. I said, man, whatever, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? And he just kept talking, talking, talking. But I knew what it is. Cuz if you ever been around motherfuckers that drink, homie, it's like liquid courage. You know what I'm saying? He went to the store and bought him some heart. And he just like, boom, boom. So, you know, me personally, I'm not even about to go back and forth with him. You know what I'm saying? Like, Crip might say back and fit with Cub. I say, fuck it, Cub. I ain't about arguing there. I'm like, Cub, let's go in the house, Cub. Let's jump on that uh, let's, let's jump on that basketball, Cub. You been whooping my ass, Cub. Homie been ran me up about $30, Cub, on that fucking basketball. I'm like, Cub, let me win my money back or something, Cub. Let's double the bet or something, Cub. Let's play $10 instead of $5. So, I'm walking off, Cub. Jumped up and just was like, homie, I can, uh, I can get y'all removed from over here. Like... I said, hey, homie, is that a threat? Oh, I promise. He said, it's whatever the fuck I say it is. I said, man, shut the fuck up, homie. When I said it, my hand went up. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, because if you walk it to the homie apartment, here's like his deep back. You know what I'm saying? Like, so we walking through, you know, like I said, the stairs is right here. So to go upstairs, because two people live out there. So go upstairs, one person live over right here, and the other person walk right there. So when I threw my hand up, that nigga slapped my hand. When he slapped my hand... My reaction, I grab, I grab, cuz I turned around and grab, cuz boom. When I grab, cuz he like grabbed my hand, so I grab, cut with my right hand, and I brought, cut. He went number like three steps, so I just brought, cut down, like, hey homie, don't fucking touch me, homie. And he like try to like, I said, hey man, look homie, chill, bro, like chill, fool. So when I release him, like, man, come on, bro, don't touch me, bro. You can say what the fuck you want to say, homie. I'm not even about to argue with you, homie, because I don't argue with no bitch. But, bro, don't fucking put your hands on me, bro. Don't touch me, my nigga. Like, bro, I didn't I didn't like I waved my hand in your face, my nigga. But don't fucking touch me, my nigga. Like, what? He, like, pushed me. When he pushed me, I dropped it. Boom! I hit cuz so hard, I knocked cuz straight back to the steps of my mama. About five up. Boom! He get up. He like, oh, fuck, homie. He tried to rush me. You know, like I said, cuz, you know, nigga had some heart. So when Cub rushed me, he grabbed me, Cub. Be honest with you, Cub, I let Cub grab me. Because once I already hit him, Cub, 
I I felt your whole. I man, look, bro. I hit hard as a bitch. Real keyway shit. Both hands, cuz. I hit hard as a bitch, my nigga. And sometimes, I'm like 50 Tyson. I don't know my strength, cuz. It just happens. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. It might come from the heavens above. But I hit cuz. Boom. And then when cuz grabbed me, cuz, I was just like. And then on top of it, cuz. Bitch, I know how to wrestle, too, my nigga. Like, I don't know karate, nigga. I know crip crazy. So I'm like, cuz, grab me, cuz. But it was so weak. I'm like. And the homie like, loca, don't do it, cuz. I'm like. Man, I just picked cuz up like and flipped cuz over me. Now, now, cuz wasn't no little motherfucker, though. Cuz had some little size on the cup, a little bigger than me, cuz. You know what I'm saying? Cuz was like, like I said, cuz, I'm, I'm, I'm 5'10, 5'11. Cuz about like 5'9 or whatever, cuz. But cuz had a little size on him, cuz. But it was, it was, no, it was nothing muscle about cuz. He just had a size on him, but he didn't have no muscles. Like, it was just, it was like, Low key jelly, cuz. So I just picked cuz up and threw cuz over me. Boom. So the lady he was talking to, maybe 30, 40 minutes before, she go gets her, I guess her brother or something, cuz. So he come down, cuz. He come over there, like, come on, man. You man, this is an older homie. You know what I'm saying? You, you young and blah, 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 blah. And I look at the nigga like, what do a fucking age got to do with anything, homie? I don't give a fuck how old he is, bro. He started this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I respect my elders, homie. You know what I'm saying? I'm raised by OGs, not IGs. But the age ain't got nothing to do with it. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, me, vividly, I would never get put my hands on the old school because it's like what I'm proving. But old school ain't about to put his hands on me and think that just what it be. I'm not no bitch, dog. So it is what it is. So Cubs was like, he just kept saying it. Oh man, oh you y'all fighting on old people, man, and blah 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 blah, homie. If he go get his homies and da 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 da, da. I got tired of Cub talking, Cub, and I was like, Cub, how old are you? He was like, Oh, I'm 27, and blah blah blah. I said, Oh, cool. We're around the same age, Cub. What you want to get in on some point? Oh, it's fucking whatever, man. I was on that nigga so quick. Boop, bop, bop. When I say mixed in cuz, as a matter of fact, I don't even want to say where he was from. Cause he he game bang too. I just mixed cuz. Pop, 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 pop. But they not knowing cuz back in the 90s, cuz, 97, 98. I knew a lot of them dudes around there. I went to New Gallus. With a lot of dudes from Point Day, Townsmen's. A little valley and all that. And cause they respected the nigga gangster. You know what I'm saying? I'm just being real. They respect the nigga gangster because it was a lot of buster ass niggas out there, cause as far as the enemies they was beefing with, like the dark sides, the the low towns, you know, the West Covina Hustle. I'm not saying niggas all were busted, but it was a lot of niggas that they used to push lines on, cause but you know, a lot of them respected a the nigga cause we was with the business, cause you know, like I said, from the East Side Dukes and shit like that, the West Side Walnuts, the West Covinas, they respected certain niggas because they knew if you get into it with them, they're going to come back with it too. So it was going to be back and fifth, back and fifth. Like it wasn't no be no boom, 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 and that's it. No, homie, we're going to go full throttle, and that is what it is. But anyways, after I mixed him up, and then, you know, big commotion came with the homie and all that. So they jumped the homie one day, you know what I'm saying? The homie was going to the, uh, he was going to the store bills on their way because he went grocery shopping because he, like I said, one little Mexican bitch you fuck with getting a little food stamp. So, Cuz went and got the uh, groceries and shit when he was coming back. Now, you got to think about Cuz got a handful of groceries, Cuz, and old boy and three of his homies from his set jumped Cuz. They didn't even get Cuz a chance because he had gross big, I mean, Cuz carrying like five, six bags over here, three, four bags over here. Going to the house, cut them niggas just rush, cut whatever, cut. They was on him, you know what I'm saying? And um, did we get some get back? No, we didn't get no get back because the homie went on and just like said fuck it, cut. Cause cut didn't want to go to jail for killing nobody. Cause cut could have easily went in the house, cut and cut had about like a good four five toolies in there, cause and we talking about some high power shit. Cause cut was getting shit from the Asians, from the TRG niggas. That's who he hung with the most. He hung with the TRG niggas. 
he been hanging with them niggas for years, cuz, like, you feel me? He actually grew up around them, but he went from TRG, though, you feel me? But, cuz had some high power shit, but he was like, cuz, I don't want to go get the thing, cuz if I let off this motherfucker, cuz, everybody in the building know me because, what, his mama was living in them apartments, cuz, moved in there back in 99, and she moved out in 2005 and let Cud had an apartment because his mama done went back to Louisiana where she originally from, Shreveport, Louisiana. So she left Cud's apartment, you know what I'm saying? Because the homie had got him, a, uh, the homie ended up getting him a job. He was a mailman and shit, you know what I'm saying? Out there in uh, P uh, P uh, Pomona. Yeah, I think it was Pomona or San Dimas, any, any one of them. But anyways, Cuz, um, yeah, Cuz, so Cud didn't want to lose his job because Plus, Cud didn't want to go to jail for nobody's cut, because Cud could have killed him and his homies, cuz, because they let Cud get up and Cud walked in the house, but he didn't even come back out. Cud didn't call no police, because he ain't even that nigga, cuz, you know what I'm saying? Cuz is like, whatever, cuz. And, um, like I said, Cud would have let that, them things off, Cud, Cud would have went to jail, because Cud had some shit that, like, before niggas got the switches and all that, Cud had, really had some shit that, uh, like, God. Damn, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, cut fuck with the Asian niggas. Real hard, cut, and cut had them type of tools, cuz. That and he was like, cuz, I can lose my job, I can go to jail, cut. And then after I go to jail, cuz, for bodies, cut, I'm going to the feds, cut, for having some motherfucking guns. That was matter of fact. And that's a true fact. You know what I'm saying? That was real shit. That's why I cut didn't even do it. So it killed them. Kill old boy with kind of old boy them like he was like, damn, cuz, you ain't saying nothing back, whatever. And what the woo woo woo. And it was like and the homie was not scared, cuz he just felt like, uh, why would I lose everything for a two dollar ass nigga? Anyway, cuz that's my story, cuz. <laughs> the reason why I said the story, cuz it was an incident that, uh, an older Asian dude was, uh, in a little boxing, little shit, juice, karate shit, and he threw a couple of kicks. And then old boy, the black dude went back and boom, knocked him out. So in the comments, they all saying, oh, he just beat up a donut. Oh, he just beat up an older dude and blah, blah, blah. And I said, shit, how about if you was in the ring with him, he knocked your bitch ass out. What would you have said? Oh, uh, I slipped on the banana. Man, get the fuck out of here. But anyway, that's my story. It's your favorite low. Mr. T back like I never left. Raised by OG, not IG. Real keyway shit. Er.